sometimes there are really no words that can tell a story better than a picture. Um, the image is powerful enough on its own. I don't need to just describe it. Here it is. Take a look. All right. Well, that's a woman at a peaceful protest in Montana standing resolute and silent while a man aggressively spews obscenities at her. Um, the picture is the inspiration behind a new segment we're actually starting called Behind the Photo. So we have the woman featured in the photo on the line right now. Hello, Samantha. How you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. How are you? I, I am so good and I am in love with your earrings and want to steal them. <laughs> um, I guess I want you to take us uh, back to the day, you know, when that happened and what led to the moment in that picture? Like how did it, did it just get there all of a sudden or was there something leading up to it? That was my second day out protesting. Uh, peacefully. Uh, a group of teenagers from Whitefish had actually already been out there a few days prior. Uh, up until that moment, we'd had people yell at us. There'd been people who'd walk by and said negative things. But overall, like, we were received pretty welcomely. You know, there's a lot of love, a lot of positive support. People were pulling over, getting out of their cars to join us. Good. Lots of thumbs up, honks, peace signs. It was really cool. Um, and then that day, uh, was probably one of the, we had about 30, 40 people out there at the time. And that, man, that gentleman had been driving around yelling at us from his truck. He wasn't the first one, so it didn't seem like anything at the, the time. And then, you know, as the protest went on, all of a sudden there was a commotion behind us. And again, being one of the older people out there, I, you know, turned around to kind of assert myself into the situation. And that's when Jay was yelling. And so I turned around and kind of just stood my ground. And that's when he came up to, as soon as he saw me, he would, locked eyes and came right over uh so then that's when it started and I had no idea that my life was going to change after that the way that it did it's a incredibly sad thing that it had to happen that moment but what courage is shown in the photo and restraint you know you probably knew in the back of your head like me fighting this kind of hate with hate is when that's not going to get me anywhere right. you know I mean where did that courage come from have you always been like that since you were a kid <laughs> you know, I want to say that I've always been like that. I hope that I've always been that person. But I grew up in Winnipeg, Montana. It's 90% Caucasian people, you know, and my family moved us up here when I was two. My, my father was a single white male with three black babies. Um, he grew up in Chicago and was around diversity his whole life, but he knew bringing us out here that we were going to have challenges. One of the things that he always used to tell us as kids was that no matter who or what the threat is, make sure that they look you in the eye so they have to acknowledge that you're human. And in that moment, that's all I felt. I felt, and my father passed away 16 years ago this uh, month. So in that moment, it was really powerful. Um, so I felt that and I lifted up my side boxes and I made him look at me. So. Me too. That was, that yeah. is the most <laughs> powerful thing he taught you. What an amazing father to teach you so much with one sentence that was that's an amazing thing to say to make sure someone looks you in the eye and knows yeah. <laughs> like, i know i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> like whoa that can be applied in several areas um so samantha the man in the photo was arrested and the next day you gave his wife a gift basket um yeah. i think i know the answer to this question but why did you feel the need to do that so uh, my friend Marcel and I, you know, the next day, everything, all of this happened so quickly. I saw a screenshot of that photo and I was like, wow, that's a really powerful image. And then it was like, oh my gosh, that's me. And I was like, ooh, what is going to happen? Because it, like, it started to spread like wildfire and I was getting so much love and so much hate. And then I saw that his name was on the internet and I knew that he was getting attacked. People were all over it. And then I found, we found out that his wife was getting some hate as well. And so we were like, we should, we need to do something as women. We do need to stand together. You know? And so we just got, you know, some bath stuff, some, some wine, a coffee card, a flower. You know? And we reached out to a friend of a friend that knew her so that we didn't like ambush her at work. But we wanted her to know that we saw her as well. I'm asking people to see me. I wanted her to know that I saw her too. Mm -hmm. That I know that she's not her husband. I've, again, I've had many men treat me like that throughout my life not the first white man to yell at me like that. And I know from what I've heard about her experiences, you know, she's been in a tough spot. So we just really wanted her to feel some love and let her know that we didn't see her in any sort of negative way. Yeah. I'm, 
you're such a great human. <laughs> like, I'm like, just sitting over here crying. It's fine. Um, cause it's so touching and it's powerful. Like every yeah. move is so powerful and every one of the things you've talked about has such a beautiful impact. And I thank you so much for being a part of the show and coming on here. And I know it is scary to be in a spotlight. I get that part. Um, <laughs> everything you say is twisted or you get love and hate for both ways. And I just implore that like you just be you and you have such a good heart and you have such a, a, a great head on your shoulders. It seems that like, no matter what people say either way, like you just do you and that's all you can do and that's all you can control. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Samantha. Um, and just helping to spark important conversations that we all need to have more of. And you're right. It's okay that we get uncomfortable. Um, growth comes from being uncomfortable. So let's get uncomfortable. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.